Stop me if you've heard this one before. Microsoft is going to get out of the gaming business and get rid of Xbox. Well, some court documents have people sending me links to a story from WCCF Tech that we're going to take a look at today. Let's read about it right now. So this one was sent my way by several people. I haven't read it yet. Let's go through it together right now because a, a lot of this is coming from the court documentation. Here's what it says. Microsoft may exit gaming business if Game Pass subscribers off console don't increase enough by 2027. And, and here's the argument that's laid out. Microsoft Gaming CEO Phil Spencer made some remarkable statements on a potential exit from the gaming business. The quotes are extracted from an investigational hearing conducted as part of the FTC's investigation into Microsoft's acquisition of Activision Blizzard. Now, you have to remember, we got the assets that were never supposed to be released a few days ago. You can go check out my full video for that there. Um, and now we have the, the resources that were shown during the trial, so we can sort of make some interesting correlations about the data that was being discussed. The document has been released today, revealing plenty of interesting information, including a detailed Bethesda games release schedule from 2020, again, in that video where I talk about the, the whole document. Here, though, we'll focus on Spencer's remarks on the future of Microsoft's gaming business. FTC lawyer James Weingarten put the following internal Xbox Game Pass slide in front of Spencer, asking him whether he agreed with the projections that show the subscription service surpassing 100 million users between financial year 29 and financial year 30, largely due to an increase in the PC and cloud market. Spencer said in no uncertain terms that Microsoft could exit the gaming business if this projection became reality. Microsoft needs the light green and blue segments, PC and cloud, to get much larger. Here's the light blue uh, and PC to get much larger and much faster by fiscal year 2027, or it could opt out of the business altogether. Now I'm gonna get into the quotes here in just a second because I listened to this whole trial, so all this is very familiar to me. But what's interesting is, the wording he says could they could get out of the business altogether but it doesn't say that they will it's going to be interesting to see what happens in terms of growth what is going to happen with the cloud market i think it's going to continue to grow at a smaller rate of course i think mobile is going to explode especially with the the new tech that they added with the iphone 15 and some of the games and how good they're looking that are coming to that device but cloud's going to be an interesting market to get into. Let's read on. I do not believe that this is what the future Xbox business would look like. This is a presentation from our devices organization to the gaming leadership team. So this is the view from the team that is charted with building our hardware on what the future business would look like. I can fairly safely say that if we do not make more progress than this off console, we would exit the gaming business. If this were the outcome, we would, I don't believe we'd still be in the business. The majority of our customers are found off of our own hardware. I would hope by earlier than 2030. So when you ask me if I agreed with this chart, that the light green and blue, depending on what colors you see there, would have to be much larger, much earlier. I would say by financial year 26, 27, that we should be in that position or we'd have to make a different decision with the business. Now there is reason to believe, this is the author, Spencer may have exaggerated a bit. Microsoft stressed throughout the whole FTC investigation and later in federal court that the acquisition of Activision Blizzard was critical to its plan to grow in mobile and cloud markets. Otherwise it might as well exit the gaming business. As such, Xbox fans need not despair yet, especially since today's other big leak shows Microsoft readying an Xbox Series mid-generation refresh and the next console, like the slim versions of the new console, basically. Microsoft has invested heavily in the gaming market between the acquisition of ZeniMax and the attempted deal to buy Activision Blizzard, and it is unlikely it would just quit before having a chance to see those investments come to fruition, especially if it can overcome the latest turtles with regulators when it comes to Activision Blizzard. Now, the, the key part of this whole thing is this slide, right? 
So console first, they're hoping for, it looks like 40 million in sales on console for PC, uh, 60, 70 million, I'm guessing cloud first a hundred million. Am I reading that right? Or is that like their Q? Yeah. So that's their cumulative. They're hoping for a hundred million years users. We already know that Xbox game pass and Xbox game pass ultimate is currently sitting at 30 million. And then you have uh, console sales bundled into that that metric. So I think console sales were around 20 million. So you're already halfway there just with console and Game Pass, I believe. Um, and I think that's where Phil Spencer is coming from. Now, we don't know the cloud numbers, really. We don't know how many people play Xbox Game Pass on PC. But my immediate reaction to all of this is... This isn't that big of a deal, and I think that Xbox can hit the targets that they're laying out for themselves. Now, I'm going to take a look at another video where Xbox talks about how they might be raising the price of Xbox Game Pass in the near future, which would potentially help them reach that goal. So this one is written over on uh, Ben Zynga, but it was also over on uh, uh, Gaming Insider. So here, here are the important quotes. Although the main premise is to provide more value, the price is, I think, it is inevitable that it will rise in the future, the CEO of Microsoft Gaming said in an interview with a Japanese publication during Tokyo Game Show via Insider Gaming. Spencer added, we recently raised our prices once, but the decision was made after careful consideration. We believe it is important to provide services that are recognized as being of sufficient value, even if prices are increased. So that was on Benzinga via Insider Gaming. So here's the thing. They've already raised the price of Xbox Game Pass. I imagine Phil Spencer is outlining a future five years down the road. I don't think this is going to happen like next month because they did just increase the price. But yeah, there is a there is a heavy chance that prices will continue to increase as the market continues the way it's been continuing, right? And especially if uh, Activision Blizzard games end up being a part of the library that you're able to access with Xbox Game Pass, maybe that's like an upselling tactic. There's a lot of different ways that they can make that story make sense to the consumer. Am I going to like it? We're going to have to wait and see what the prices are. But at some point, as the library expands, I imagine the price is going to expand just the way Netflix has had to raise their prices and basically everybody else in the market. So that one was less shocking, but... It is nice to know at least that, yeah, someday the price is going to continue to go up. Granted, it uh, means I'm going to have to click a few more links on my rewards if I want to get it for free and not pay anything, but uh, that's neither here nor there. So I believe that's the, those are the two main stories that I've seen floating around. The main one being that Microsoft is talking about getting out of the games business. I don't imagine that they're going anywhere, especially not by 2027, especially given how well they've been doing in the market. Granted, you know, they've had console sales issues, but it seems to me like Game Pass is growing. Game Pass still seems to be a great service. Regardless of how you personally feel about Starfield, it seems to be selling quite well. Uh, it's, it's in the top 1% of Reddit. I saw that the other day. So I think Microsoft is going to be just fine. And if those leaked games are any indication, they're going to go big in 2024. But no matter what happens, I'll be right here talking about it. So if you like my content, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to know when it goes live. Thank you so much for watching. If you're already subscribed, hit that like button. Thank you so much to the members. I really appreciate you supporting this channel. Thank you so much for doing so. Click that join button. If you would like to become a member today, that would be very Great. I'm going to get out of here. Before I go, check out this video where I reacted to somebody talking about how uh, modern games feel like a chore. And I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now, everybody.